This is Silver Stag Pyro here with you for another Wednesday unboxing. I got some new fireworks. I got a new knife. Let's do it. All right, we're going to break into this bad boy here. And it is actually Wednesday when I'm recording this. And I usually record things and then it gets posted later, but I have off work today, so I am doing it the day of. So, these fireworks are from a little bit everywhere. A few of the uh, smaller things I got from Light of the World fireworks. I think Vex Pyro gave me a couple things, and then some are from stores. So, I'm not sure exactly what's from where, uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look. First thing we got here is El Toro Jumping Jacks. These are the really good ones. They're a lot bigger than the ones they make more recently. I wish I would have thought to bring out another pack of them, but <laughs> but I didn't. Um, but yeah, they're just a lot better. They uh, last longer and have a lot better effect. So I'm going to use these anyway at some point, so I'll just throw them in a Ziploc. All right, we'll go ahead and show you what the next item is here. We got some crazy robots, just some nice bangers. Uh, it does have a good minute, a, bit <laughs> a good amount of space here at the bottom. Let's see, about right there is all just paper, but they still are very good firecrackers. Um, that's about where the powder would be, which is plenty uh, for an item like this. Next tier, we got Fire Crackling Max 2. Now they make a Max 1 and a Max 2. Those are the only two I know of, at least. Uh, Power Rangers brand, never seen that except on this item. And these are just a nice long strip of firecrackers, and then it has a head bomb, like right here, uh, which also has a bunch of firecrackers in it. Next thing here is Super Ground Blooms. These are by Pyroland Fireworks, and it there are 72 in here, just a really nice ground bloom with report. If I wasn't in the backyard, I would definitely try out a few of these, but uh, the other brand I know of that is very uh, close as far as quality goes is the Wise Guy ones. Uh, so I'm excited to finally have a good uh, brick of uh, ground blooms with report. We've got some M1000 firecrackers. These are what those look like, and they are, so you can't see the firecracker in them, and I've opened up several of these, and you can't see the firecracker in any of them, so I'm pretty sure these are not just firecrackers down in there. I think it's clay, clay, and then the effect is, or the, the uh, yeah, flashes down there in the middle, so... These are actually really nice firecrackers, and they come 36 of them in there, and I got three bricks of them, so I'll be using these. I saved one, and then I put one back to use another time. Silvertail Rockets. Uh, these are by Maddox Fireworks. Uh, these are just uh, some nice bottle rockets. Uh, pretty much your just basic rockets. I haven't shot them, but based on the name Silvertail, I assume there's some titanium in the tail. Uh, but I don't know. I just wanted some nice bottle rockets. They're fun to play around with when you're not wanting to make a huge amount of noise, but you also want to light off some fireworks. There's the other brick of the uh, M1000s, and then I have one saved. All right, we got some Link Triad Ladyfinger firecrackers. Uh, these are just the small, thin firecrackers, 40 packs of 40 shot. Got some black spider, and these are just regular firecrackers. I actually thought they were black. Um, these are just, yeah, they're more like the size of a lady finger, but bigger, but smaller than a regular cracker. So uh, these are actually just something fun I wanted to have to go outside and to and some make some a little bit of noise, but not too much, just like the bottle rockets. And I actually got a bunch of them. <laughs> So, plenty there. Mobster Bombs. Uh, Vex Pyro picked me these up at Shelton's Fireworks. These are just single water crackers. 
And I liked them because the individual cracker themselves has this mobster wrap on them. It's not just a red wrap. So I'm just going to be putting these back in my little collection drawer that I'm working on. And hopefully I'll get another pack of these or some single ones and I'll put them in a firecracker video. Safe crackers. Uh, these are just nice side fuse crackers. And these are another thing that I am really hoping I can get another pack of these or uh, a few loose ones to try out. Because when I only get one pack of something, I, I do like to hold on to it at least for a little bit. Uh, so I can try to find some single ones to use and then keep these sealed up. Bikini Beach. Got several packs of these. Just nice nice large loud firecrackers and they have the uh, uh, woodpecker wrapping on them so it's a woodpecker on each pack got some m200 firecrackers these are el toro these are really hard to find uh, shelton now has ones that are some of them are this big but they're fused at the end and they're a lot less effect inside so they're just not as good so I was happy to get at least a few so even though I only have four of them I already put one on my little display shelf and I'll be doing at least one or two on a firecracker video same with all of these that are in the little ziplocs I'll do at least one or two on a firecracker video these are Vixen M200s so very similar to these uh, except they're end fused and then one of them here is side fused so real quick, I have heard theories that side-fused ones are better uh, than end-fused, uh, and here's why. So when the fuse hits the powder, you're getting it all lit here, and then it lights the rest of it as it explodes. This one here meets in the middle and it explodes like both ways. So leave me in the comments if you know for sure one way or the other is better, but that's what I've heard is the reasoning for the side fuse being better. I don't know. I think if they are any louder or less loud, it's going to not even be noticeable to our ears. Ground pounders. These are not little firecrackers inside. These are filled with the powder. And these I just wanted to get to play around with. And I think they're just so unique. Uh, some firecrackers that aren't the usual shape. I have some other ones, but they'll be in another video because I got them at the Fireworks Superstore. They have Sonic the Hedgehog on them. You got some tank firecrackers. Now these are the old two inch ones. Look at those bad boys. Those are awesome. I will definitely be using this strip in a firecracker video and then holding on to these other three until I can get some more. Uh, tank also makes some other firecrackers that are just regular packs of firecrackers kind of like this size um, but these ones if you see tank you want to look for this two inch right there next item here are m800 firecrackers i just got a ziploc baggie of these i didn't get a whole brick or anything so i can't show you the artwork i don't actually even know what the art look artwork looks like on these uh, but these are just good uh, tube crackers but they are sealed at both ends and side fuse, so these are not just a cracker inside. Got some wise guy crackers. These are all individual crackers in here. You can, I hope you can see without the glare how large they are. Just some good crackers. I have used these on some other videos, and there's several different versions. There's bright red uh, wrapped versions. There's like a more dull red ones, and there's some smooth or like a little bit rough paper so it just depends on which ones are the ones that you see uh, but all of them are still fun and still good crackers better than just your regular cracker so I would always if you see these go ahead and pick them up these are fun little guys here uh, spring plum blossom bouquet uh, by supreme fireworks I would love to get a couple bricks of these very similar uh, from what I remember to um, whistling jumping jacks, whistling jacks. Uh, they do their little color jumping jack thing and then they explode. So end with a firecracker report. Had some more of these down in there. <laughs> some more black spiders. Oh, I got plenty of those. I don't think I'll ever have to buy another pack of those again. 
Pyro Diablo Crackers, 16 Tau. Uh, this is just a box of regular crackers. So I really just wanted this box. I think it's really cool looking, and then it's a neat way to hold the firecrackers. Um, I almost would rather all firecrackers be like this, so then when I store them, I can just stack the boxes one on top of the other. But something different, and as far as I know, these perform just like any other regular cracker. I am down to two items left. We got some Mickey and Minnie crackers. Let me try to, that's a lot of glare on there. So there's what these look like here. They are not small, nice large cracker. And I've never lit one of these and they're not very heavy, but uh, apparently they are pretty loud, nice firecrackers. I only ever had one of these and it's on my display shelf. So I was really happy to find another brick of them so I could try a few of them out on a video. And last item here is some jitterbugs. These are by Dominator. They are not made anymore. Here's what the label looks like. Now, Light of the World Fireworks did get me a couple strips of them, and these are strips of 400. But I went to the Fireworks Superstore and was able to get 10 more packs of these, so 4,000 jitterbugs. Uh, these are also very similar to Spring Plum Bouquet and Whistling Jacks. They do their little jumping jack thing and then explode. So super fun to play around with. They do have color, uh, so a lot of fun there. And because everything here is noise, uh, everything is a firecracker or a flying fi firecracker, uh, except the jumping jacks. I already did those. I don't really have anything in this video to light in my backyard that doesn't make too much noise. So I'll probably, in case anyone's watching this video that hasn't seen these before, I'll do a strip or two of the jumping jacks uh, by El Toro and then I'll try to find something else. I can't wait till dark because I am posting this video later today. So I'm going to see what I can find and then I'll be right back. I just do not have many quiet firecracker or fireworks right now uh, that I wanted to use. So we'll just do a couple packs of these and I'll throw in another spinning fireball. Hopefully I had bad luck on the last video I tried to show you these. But I'll go ahead and try uh, this one out here. Hopefully it'll spin and jump real nice for you. Two packs of jumping jacks right there. a couple of them explode there I, I don't see any pieces of them there but there's a couple that popped really good it was kind of like a really dull thud firecrackers <laughs> I was not expecting that let's do the fireball exactly what those things should do. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, I really appreciate you hanging out for this Wednesday unboxing. I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Later.